No studies at all this summer. I already took summer courses and that's it. No more studies till September. The break would help you calm down, relax. After an exercise, any type of exercise, the body needs to rest. After a full year of learning and working hard, obviously, you know, the students need that summer to allow their brain to assimilate, understand uh, everything they learned during the year. Being always on the go, having so many courses, projects, exams, quizzes, you know, that takes a lot out of you. Um, the short break that we have, it's, it's welcome. It's also good because we can travel, some of us, and see other world, and see the real example of what we have studied. I'm planning to go for summer camp in another country in order to learn another language. So basically in summer my only study is going to be based on another language. I prefer studying in the summer so I don't get out of my daily routine of getting up in the morning or going to university or uh, because once you get into the holiday mood it's really difficult to get back into the university mode. You remember for example in primary school when during the year, the school year, there was a mathematical formula or something like that you could not understand. You leave for the summer vacation, then you come back and in September, with no explanation whatsoever, you were able to understand that formula. So it means that during that time, you gave your brain to rest. It assimilated. It was able to assimilate and analyze and understand. So it's true for anything. Of course, if I don't research or I don't even think of my studies, of course, people will lose what they've learned. But if they try to uh, use some of the skills that they learned in university during their summer, it will stay in their minds. You might forget some of the studies that we have done, but I'm sure because the courses are very related to each other. After the next course, I will definitely be going to remember it because every course kind of repeating the other courses with more knowledge. To keep things into memory, they have to be repeated. And that's why we have courses. We train students. We get them into analyzing, understanding, learning concepts. But again, during the summer, you have at one point to give the right to your brain to rest. Recently, I've, um, I've come up like, with the idea of working in a non-profit organization, which is great because I've developed some skills. It's amazing. The place um, helps a lot of people to uh, learn things like from computer, art, home economics. Everything I've learned from finance and accounting, I've applied in the workplace. Most of the students are going to be working during the summer. They might be traveling, which is also good. I prefer that students work hard during the school year and rest during the summer. Just to keep on reading, it might be on the subject that they've been studying in business. They might read books on management, for example, on leadership and finance, if that's what they like. Uh, and, but not directly related to a course, but perhaps to a specific topic of interest to them. And that will be, of course, tremendously good. I don't open any book during my break time. Mm -hmm. 